All right, YouTube, today I'm about to install the Bassani 2 in the 1 exhaust on my 2023 Harley Davidson Rogue Glide CVO. And there's two parts that I removed, and most of them are just push out parts that push to those different areas right there. And there's one screw that does connect that one side. And here's the parts right here. You can see that uh, they just use the push tabs. And on this one piece, you can see there's that one screw. That's what it looks like. It looks like it had a little bit of um, factory Loctite on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just open the contents of the box, make sure everything's in there and um, not damaged before I get to, before I start taking the bike apart. And uh, I should have already done that, but let me just show you what I gotta do first. So there's gonna be a um, um, nut right there, one right there, they're half inch. Those come off. Um, the sensor is gonna come off there and there. And um, there's two more on this side, but first I'm gonna remove the heat shields. Then I can reach everything a little bit better. And on the other side, I do need to unplug the master fuse. So I gotta do that. And um, on this side, I could trace the uh, wires into the left side compartment where I'm gonna remove, um, where I'm gonna remove the sensor wires and things like that. So that when I install them on the other set, I can go ahead and work with them and put the uh, anti-seize stuff on and everything. I can work with them while they're out of the bike. Underneath here, just gonna loosen those so I can remove the, uh, on the left and right, so I can remove the uh, muffler and in the center there so that I can remove the pipe going to the other side. And there'll most likely be another, just another bolt. Yep, something in the middle and then that'll be the removal and then I'll install it the same way so be right back so I went ahead and removed all my bags on the left and the right side and you can see where your sensors plug into right here and it's the, the front and rear sensors and stuff so I'm gonna be unplugging those and on this side I'm gonna go ahead and um, take out my master fuse and for all you guys who have this 2023 Rogue Glide, your master fuse is behind this rubber cover right here. A lot of people have been taking these off when they have like the issues with their infotainment system. They just pull it and then just reset it. So I'm just taking this off because whenever you do major work to your bike, especially like electrical work, things like that, they're little wires want to go ahead and remove the master fuse and so I'm hoping <laughs> that I'm right and that this is the master fuse I believe it is but anyway um, so yeah so now I'm gonna go ahead and get into opening this box all right so I got the box open and I check all the contents of everything that's a big ass bar I wasn't expecting to see never seen one of those before it is pretty hefty some of the parts that I was waiting to see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these all out, read some uh, instructions and things like that, and see where this big hefty piece goes. This is, all oh, this stuff's heavy, but looks good, packaged really well, and uh, I'll be back, because I'm gonna read all of this stuff. So I did verify all the contents in the box and parts and stuff like that. I have my bracket, so I'm in the process of removal. So the first thing they ask you to do is to remove the floorboard on this side. You only need to just drop down this one piece here and it'll swing all the way around so that it's completely out of the way. So next thing I wanna do is remove my heat shields and I have a number eight socket and you'll see like, 
Let's see like the areas that you need to loosen for the heat shield all around. Just look for those, loosen them all the way and then the heat shields will just pop off. All right, so there was um, one of those on the right and on the left for this um, backside one. It's all the way loose and um, it will come right off now just like that. And that is the end of your pretty little um, dark platinum. It's just a heat shield, guys. That's it. And um, this one was already starting to turn blue. And um, I did wipe it down a lot to avoid that. But that's all it is. And that's how it really looks on me. Disappointing, right? Um, so it's just cosmetic, except for the actual mufflers. So as you can see, when you remove the heat shields, you have a lot better access to removing those um, nuts right there that are onto the bolts that permanently stick out. And by removing the foot peg, you have a lot more maneuverability in installing the new part that you're putting on. So. All right, just another look at your pretty little exhaust, which is really um, just heat shields. So this is the money right here. And um, it's just a regular old uh, header, you know what I mean? And that's where your cats are located in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these off and get the rest of this off. How easy is this to reach now? Um, it's a little bit easier, but it's gonna be tough getting in back there. So guys, in order to reach it, you wanna go right through there get to it. Camera, jeez. Right. Uh, I can't get it. Well, I can get it, but I was trying to get it on camera. So you might want to use like a bent angle. It's a half inch deal there, but that's the same angle where I'm got it before, so we'll get it off, I'll be back. All right, so I went on and removed the mufflers off of both sides. There's uh, nuts and screws and different things that you're gonna take off to there. You can see this was on here. That's kind of tough getting off, that's why I'm breathing hard. The uh, other side was a piece of cake. I loosened that and it just came right off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um, loosen up the uh, sensors. I unplugged them. You can cut the clips and just put more zip ties on and you can leave them on there when you pull it off or you could try and do it from there, but I like to take it off because if you do it from here, you're gonna keep twisting the wires and the wires can get weak. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip all the um, zip ties and then just have them attached when I remove it. So I have my wires that go to the sensors. This uh, black plug is the one that's gonna go on the rear header and the gray plug is the one that's gonna go on the front header. When we remove those, they're gonna go back on with some anti-seize and I'll show you that step when I get to it, but I've already unclipped. Um, there was one zip tie here, one down here, and you know, some underneath, and everything's loose. So, only thing left to do now is to unbolt the four, two there and two up front. The one up front is hardest to get to, so I'll try and use one of the skinnier, longer, attachment pieces to get to it. And in the past, I've been able to get to it on my low glide limited. So I'm pretty sure I can get to it on this because the limited has those lower fairings, but this still has that bulky um, hose that is part of the coolant system. So as you can see, three of the bolts are off. Those two in the rear one in the front, and I still have the other one left. It's loose now, so I can take it off by hand, but I don't wanna drop the, the actual nut. 
So I can loosen it by hand, but what I'm gonna do is uh, keep this magnet piece down there. That way, when I loosen it, um, it doesn't just fall down into anything. So that's what I'm doing. All right, and I got that off just like that. So now the header should come right off. And um, well, yeah, it should just come right off. It's probably gonna be a little tight. I'm gonna put the phone down so I don't break my phone. But uh, yep, my buddy's gonna say, why don't you get a tripod yet? <laughs> I know, man, but I'll be back. All right, so I found the easiest way to do this whenever I've done headers is to reach around, pull the front off first, and then the rear just go right behind it. And I've already loosened that part up right there. So we're out. Just gotta pull this off, everything's loose. And just gotta pull it off now. There we go. So this is just holding it in place. I just gotta unsnap that real quick. I'll be back. Guys, what I was trying to unsnap is just this piece right here. It just holds in place right there to keep all the wires out of the way. When you put everything back together, just make sure that none of your clamps or anything is rubbing against anything, vibrating stuff that could weaken any of your lines or, or pinch any of your wires and stuff like that. And um, you'll be good to go. So now that we have this old system off, we can go ahead and move on to the new stuff. So we are all set. So I'm just gonna switch out these, uh, these sensors onto the new system and then keep going. All right, just for you curious guys who wanna know what it looks like in there, it looks like a, like a little cardboard honeycomb, so to speak. Can you see that? That's what it looks like in there. So that is killing your sound, but keeping the um, atmosphere a little bit cleaner by um, using that type of filter inside of there. That's your catalytic converters. I guess that's what it's called. And I removed the O2 sensors. They're sitting right there. And uh, now I just gotta remove these other parts. And I'll be right back. So you really can just leave this pipe on. You don't even have to loose, unloosen that part right there. And um, so I'm just gonna use my 11 16th and get these uh, sensors out. And uh, I'll be right back. That's how you just take them out just like that. You're also gonna have to remove this clamp here and see how this goes. See how that has the, uh, I don't know what you wanna call that, the cutout on the inside. That is gonna fit right in there like that. So we're gonna be replacing, taking these off and putting them on the new set. So when I come back, I'll have all this stuff taken off. Next thing we wanna do is take out those old gaskets and replace them with the new gaskets. And to do that, I'm gonna use a pick and um, I will get that done and be right back. All right, so with the old ones removed, these are the new ones. And that's the thick side, that's the thin side. And you wanna get the thick side in first. Okay, when you push that up. So what I do is um, just barely sit that on there and I'm uh, turning just to kind of see where it's gonna fit in the oval. And get it in place. I don't wanna smash it. And so I know another trick to do is to put that in place. Take your flange and the ring, put it inside there. And then what you wanna do is, you're just gonna put that in place. Put this here and tighten it one side at a time to get that properly fit in place without smashing things incorrectly. So what I do is I just hand tighten those on and then I'll go from like left to right, left to right. I'm 
push those back so that the gasket can seat properly. All right, so as you can see, I just went on and took it off and it gets it in there pretty good and nice and neat. And you'll still need to push it just a tad to get it um, seated in there well, but um, it does a good job by doing it that way. Okay, so at this point, I have both the new gaskets in place and um, I'm gonna have to remove this cover and those three bolts underneath in order to mount up the bracket. All right, so I removed the, uh, the old bolts, those three old bolts off. I have the three new ones on, and I'm gonna go ahead and put on the mounting bracket. So what I like to do, I like to hand tighten these first, and then I will not even use any um, tools. I'll just hand turn, just to make sure that the threads are going in well, and that they're not going in too deep. So these are the, the uh, bolts supplied by um, Basani and they're longer because this piece is pretty thick. See how thick that is? So they're longer. All right, so go ahead and get this on. All right, so those are pretty tight. And as you can see, it uh, doesn't hit anything underneath of there. So there was no need to take that cover off in order to put this bracket piece on. So that was good. So I think the next thing I have to do now is go ahead and install my um, O2 sensors on here and take, well, take the plastic off, put my O2 sensors on and these flanges and stuff. And uh, we'll move on to the next step. Wow, so just getting this stuff out of all the plastic, um, they had it wrapped pretty tight, but look how pretty that is. Um, a lot of people are gonna ask me why didn't I go with the the dark platinum or the smoke or whatever it's called. Well, it was taking too long and I don't wanna wait anymore. Plus, um, it's just, you know, um, a lot of products that they had were slip-ons, they have full systems, but they were just out of stock. And um, I really like this stainless Basani look. And um, I was worried about the um, dark smoke or platinum, whatever it's called, turning blue, because it's mainly like exhaust shields on most of it. And um, I don't have to worry about that anymore. And I could have actually got an exhaust way faster had I gotten black. But um, the pipes that I didn't, that I was trying to get, um, SNS two in the one, they were out until October 6th and they still didn't show up. So I ordered these and they showed up two days after. So that was pretty good on the signing. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, now, let me just take these shields off. And go ahead and put the O2 sensors and stuff in. In order to do that, see how big those are? Those are for the um, larger O2 sensors. And um, I need to get in this bag, put the adapters on, so. The wide band. They're for the wide band sensors. So the package comes with the anti C's. I have some. Um, these are the uh, adapters that I'm speaking of. So those are going. And then the O2 sensors will also go in. One of the things you want to not do is get anti C's on the actual sensor itself. That's pretty bad. Make sure you only get it on the actual threading. And that's pretty much it. You just need a little bit. Okay, so those sensors are on there nice and snug and they have the anti seize The next step is to go ahead and put these back on with the, um, uh, the C-clamps. Well, not C-clamps, but the flanges and I guess they are C-clamps. All right, so. Of course, these go on first and then the clamps go on afterwards. So they just slide on. And then with these, you just gotta press them in place. There's a tool that they have, but I just usually use my hands. So, be right back. All right, so that's all done. They're all clamped up. Like I said, the uh, gray one is gonna go all the way to the front so the wire will be longer. And the black one will go 
all the way to the rear so the wire will be shorter. And so that's how you remember that. And um, so now just need to unwrap this bad boy and get it all set and put in place. So here it is. And I'm gonna have to wipe this down and keep telling myself to wipe it down before I turn it on so that I don't burn any handprints into this thing. So you can see this thing is just straight through. And um, hopefully it sounds good. Should sound better than what was on there. So I need to take the uh, clamp out of here. Oh, let me get all this stuff stays in the place. I'm excited, so video is gonna be all over the place, right? All right, so right about now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in place and go ahead and mount it and hand tighten it. And um, I'll be right back because I'm definitely not gonna hold the phone while I do this. All right, so I have the muffler slipped on and stays in place. Everything's still kind of loose. I have to still tighten it up. And there are two 5 8 screws in the back there that I have to tighten and line up. And that part's kind of hard. And I still have to put the heat shields on using the clamps. And um, after that, we'll be done. I already plugged in the um, O2 sensors and um, let's keep it going. Okay, now that it's all tight, I'm gonna start wiping the pipes down. And even though I'm putting heat shields over them, I'm gonna wipe them down anyway. And then after I put the heat shields on, I'm gonna wipe those down too. After that, I'll get the bike all buttoned up. And um, it's pretty late, so I'm gonna be waking up some neighbors, but uh, oh well. All right, so what I did, I went on and zip tied all the, the um, cables together and made everything nice and neat. I put the heat shields on by the same way that I took them off. And um, now I'm just cleaning off the finish of the exhaust using a little bit of uh, soapy um, paper towel with a little bit of dish soap and uh, cleaning the heat shields off. I already cleaned the back part area up and the only thing remaining is to go ahead and put the um, foot peg back on and um, get this thing all together and give it a shot. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Storm. <laughs> oh man, it feels good to have this exhaust on. I haven't turned it on yet, but it is the Bassani two into one. And um, I took this bike apart and installed it. It wasn't too difficult. I was just going really slow and um, kind of excited to get it on. And uh, you know, it wasn't, I don't know. Hopefully my video will help some of you guys who want to try this yourself. But there's a thousand videos on how to install headers and these, these uh, exhaust systems like this. I would say out of all the headers that I installed, this is probably the easiest one. Um, the easiest full system because all you have is a small muffler back there. That's it. So, all right, without further ado, I know you guys want to hear this thing, so about to wake up some neighbors, I guess. Well, hopefully, I don't know if this thing is, let me get it in neutral. All right. And, um, all right, here we go. It's my first time hearing it too. It's 12.20 at night. I notice a deeper sound and um, seems like when I get on it, it's definitely gonna be uh, a louder sound or whatever. But um, I like the single side exhaust with the short bags. And you just don't see any pipes back there. Um, I 
think it's I think it's normal. Um, I know that guys who are in the speed with the short bags who are pulling the wheelies, um, when they do the exhaust systems like this, they don't have to worry about the exhaust or the bags hitting when they're trying to pull wheelies and stuff like that. So, um, not that, <laughs> not that I'm going to be trying to pull wheelies or anything, but in the uh, small chance that I might, I guess I'll be able to now since the exhaust won't hit. But I'm not going to be out there doing all that. But So this is it. And um, had a good time installing it. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me. And, um, oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys went to the Harley Davidson Homecoming. But they gave out these, like, work lights that you put on your head. And, man, they're bright. I was able to use that to install this today. So that was a cool thing. So just um, if you guys got them from the Harley Davidson Homecoming, then, uh, yeah, they work. So one of the things I'm gonna be hooking up maybe tomorrow is uh, I have the old tail light from Grady. And um, I'm gonna be hooking this thing up. So in the back, we have a bunch of red lights and I have my old red light right here. And I'm gonna hook this thing up back here. I know there's no wire harness available yet, but I'm gonna create one. I have the template to install this. And um, cause I keep, people keep coming up in cars near the rear of me while I'm on the bike. And I almost keep getting side swiped. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there so I can remain safe. I have all the wires to, I have the template and all the wires to do it on the inside. There's just not a quick connect that is made yet for this bike. But what the rear tail lights are, easy to access the wires and I'm considering wiring it right there making my own type of a connection harness using the equipment that I have so I'm about ready now to uh, I don't know what else to do to this bike so I am kind of interested in getting a road king and um, just seeing where we can go from there as far as Grady, I'm just gonna ride this thing, man. And um, can't wait to get back on Grady. So, think about Grady might look better with a chop tour pack instead of a king. But uh, yeah, Grady's pretty much done. Um, Storm, pretty much done for what all I could do with it for right now. Some people are painting theirs. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got the nice gray reflectors on both bikes. Took off the red ones and took the bright yellow ones off of the side there. So I'm looking for a company that's gonna do a black windshield. I saw someone sent theirs to a body shop and got theirs painted and that turned out pretty nice. So, all right guys, I'm gonna ride this thing tomorrow, definitely this weekend. Let you guys know how it rides. So, thanks for watching.